Welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss shift reduce parser. This shift reduce parser is implemented by using two data structures. So the two data structures are one is stack, second one is input buffer. Okay. Stack is used to store the symbols of the grammar. So what are the symbols that are present within this? That are present within the given grammar, the symbols, whether terminals or non-terminals, that are stored inside the stack. So, what is mean by input buffer? Input buffer simply it stores the input string, the input string to be parsed. That is, on which input string you want to perform the parsing, that input string is placed into the input buffer. These two are the two data structures and always the end of the input string is marked with dollar. The end of the input string is marked with dollar. It specifies that that is the end of a string and in the grammar the bottom of the stack bottom of the stack is also marked as dollar. Okay. Now in this, there are four actions are performed. Under shift reduce parser, four actions are performed. The four actions are the first one, the shift action, reduce, accept, and the fourth one is error. These are the possible actions. Simply, Shift operation in the sense move the input symbol to top of the stack. Move the input symbol from the input string into top of the stack. That moving is called shift operation. And you know already reduce operation. What is mean by reduce? Any symbol on the top of the stack that matches on the right hand side of the grammar, then the right hand side is replaced with. So, right hand side is replaced with, replaced by the left side non terminal. You got it? Any symbol on the top of the stack is matches with the right hand side of the production. Then that right hand side is replaced with the left hand side non-terminal. That is not reduce. Accept in the sense after completion of the entire parsing of the string, if the bottom of the stack is a dollar and the end of input is also dollar. The bottom of input stack, stack is dollar and the end of input is also dollar. That means the complete string is parsed. Then that means the string is accepted. The string is accepted. Finally, error. During parsing, if there is any syntax errors, during parsing, if any syntax errors, then it leads to error state. You got it? These are the four actions that we are performed under shift reduce parser. And to perform all these operations, we require these two data structures. These two data structures. Now, I will explain how these two data structures are used, how these actions are performed by considering one example grammar. Suppose consider a grammar e tends to e plus t slash t, t tends to t star f slash f, f tends to e id. Assume this is my grammar and my input string is id into id. My input string is 
ID into ID. Now, construct the shift reducer parser. Construct the shift reducer parser. So, the things are, one is the stack. Stack. Second one is input buffer, the two data structures, input buffer. And the next one is the action that we performed. The action that we performed. Okay. Now, what is the first step? Initially, the bottom of the stack is dollar. And this is my input string. ID into ID. Always the input string ends with dollar. Always the input string ends with dollar. Now, what are the operations that are performed? Always we are checking the top of the stack. Always we checked the top of the stack. Initially, the top of the stack does not contain anything. If it does not contain anything, simply perform shift operation. That means moving one symbol from the input buffer into string stack id. So, what is the action we are performing? Perform shift operation. Observe, whenever you are performing shift operation, what is the result? The id is shifted to stack. The id is shifted to stack. And this is the remaining input. Remember, based on this action, the next step is performed. Here, my action is shift operation. That is shifting one symbol into the stack. Now, the top of the stack is ID. Check. Is ID is present in the right hand side of any grammar. If the symbol is present in the right hand side of any grammar, then that is replaced with the left hand side variable. Is it present or not? Yes. ID is present in this production. So, F tends to ID. Now, what is my operation? Simply, my operation is reduce operation. Reduce operation in the sense that ID is replaced with F. That means, how can you reduce? Reduce F tends to ID. F tends to ID by using this production. Now, star ID dollar. Again check, is F is present or not? Remember, here F is present. So, what is the production? T tends to F. So, this is as it is. Again, perform reduce operation. So, F tends to Sorry, T tends to, T tends to F. Now, dollar on performing reduce operation, F is replaced with T, star, ID, dollar. Now, now understand and listen carefully the most important point. T, T is also present in the production. T is replaced with E. So, we have a chance. T is replaced with E. Suppose, if T is replaced with E, then after that, after that, what happens logically, assume, if T is replaced with E, that is fine. In the next step, E star. So, is this case is available? E star is not available. That is the reason we are not blindly perform reduce operation. We are not blindly perform reduce operation. So, in case of reduce or shift operation, we have to consider the remaining part of the string also. That is called a problem. I will explain the problem after completion of this one. Now, see this one. Instead of this one, first perform shift operation. Why I am performing shift operation? Here, I have T. And this is star. So, T star is available. Suppose if you are replacing T with E. After E star, E star is not available in the given grammar. That is the reason I am not performing any reduce operation. Dollar T star ID dollar. Is T star is available? No. 
the complete matching the complete matching is to be occurred then again perform shift operation again perform shift operation t star id here the dollar that is the string is ended now id so here the matching is performed here a matching is performed reduce f tends to id so dollar t star f dollar so is the production t star f appears yes that is t so reduce t tends to t star f reduce t tends to t star f so this entire thing is replaced with t dollar again we have a symbol now t t is in this production e tends to t so again perform reduce operation e tends to t finally dollar e dollar here there is no possible to convert e and observe e is the starting symbol and observe e is the starting symbol whenever we are moving to starting symbol then there is no concept of extension simply we close this one this is the way we are constructing a shift reducer parser here the main important thing is the main important thing is during construction of this shift reducer parser two problems arise two problems arise the first problem is shift reduce conflict two conflicts are shift reduce conflict second one is reduce reduce conflict so first what is mean by shift reduce also called as sr conflict meaning is at a particular point of time you have two possibilities that is shift possibility is available at the same time reduce possibility is available for example in this case consider this case if you are considering this case in this case t is reduced to e that is one possibility or star is shifted to this position that means shift to possibility reduce possibility which one you have to do that is a conflict conflict in the sense we don't know the exact so that is called conflict depending upon the situation we are performing either shift operation reduce operation okay now exactly the same sense reduce reduce conflict that means more than one reduction is available at a particular point of time if more than one direction is available assume for example here it is not present uh, assume t we have the grammar like this t whenever t appears whenever t appears now the t is replaced with either f tends to t or e tends to t which one you have to consider that means the right hand side is matched in more than one production then which non terminal is used for replacement that is called reduce reduce conflict in these two conflicts depending upon the derivation of the problem we have to consider whether shift operation or reduce operation in the first one and which production you have to consider is in the second one okay this is called the shift reduce parser so in the next sessions we will discuss slr clr and lar parsers Thank you.